Hey guys, I wanted to talk about FlexPod as we're using it in the Network Operations Center as part of the entire event, but it's been extremely crowded over at the, uh, because of the tours. Everybody is digging into the network layout over there, and so I just made an executive decision. Hopefully that's okay with you. To talk FlexPod, I've got an expert who's going to walk us all the way through it. Arvin, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. So I apologize we couldn't do it over at the NOC, but I do want to talk about that. But let's lead into it and start perhaps with just for anybody that may not be fully familiar with FlexPod, how would you describe the Cisco FlexPod relationship? Absolutely. So FlexPod is a giant solution that Cisco and NetApp have been doing together. It's about nine years old now. In fact, we are celebrating our ninth anniversary this year. Uh, so it's all about having a data center in a rack. So we use Cisco's compute, which is the UCS, Nexus, which is used for our networking, and the storage, of course, is our uh, NetApp all flash storage that's right over here in the center of the rack. So we use all these three components which form the base of this FlexPod data center. It's, so it's a data center in a rack solution, okay. which caters to several enterprise workload requirements. Okay. So it comes with uh, detailed design and deployment validated uh, guides, where we talk about what are the best practices that you need to follow in order to deploy enterprise workloads on top of a FlexPod. Okay. So at this point, we have roughly 170 plus validated enterprise workloads for FlexPod. Oh, wow. So customers who want to run a particular workload, they are pretty sure that when they follow our design and deployment guides, which are basically CVDs, right. or Cisco validated design Speaking guides, our like NetApp verified architecture documents, so we have, we have them laid out in that fashion, so they just need to take a look at that, and they know what, it, what, what needs to be done to deploy these workloads successfully. And as the name says, flex part, so it's a pretty flexible part. Right. So it's not just catered to enterprise customers, but we can also support entry level, SMB, remote office, branch office requirements as well. So it's the same components uh, like compute, network, and storage where we just use the entry level components. Like we use our entry level storage, we could use an entry level compute, maybe rack servers, and instead of using 9,000s, we could also use the Nexus 3,000s right. and come up with a smaller part, but still have the same best practices right through the stack. So okay, our fundamentals are the same, but we are able to scale up, scale out, and meet the customer needs based on what they want to run. It's really been about simplicity. I mean, when you, so flexibility, yes, it's in the name, but when I think of pod, I think of all-encompassing, I think of everything I need in a simple fashion, You're talking about scaling from small to large, so you can work for a lot of different size organizations. Now, we've worked together for many years, uh, doing a lot of different things. What, um, what would you cite as new and interesting uh, that you guys are perhaps focused on now, educating people as to the advances that you continue to make? Absolutely. So, so some of the new things, and as, as we're talking, so what we see here is FlexPod AI. And AI is, is one of the big things these days, right? And everybody wants to get into AI. Uh, they want to get, they want to start doing analytics with the data that they already have. And we at NetApp, we are, uh, we have a keen focus. Uh, so we are trying to ha uh, help our customers to get the maximum value out of their data. And when you look at AI, it's all about data. Yeah. So if you have good quality data, it leads to a good quality AI analytical model. But if your quality of data is bad, that leads to a bad AI model. So, so that, that's how it corresponds to. Okay. So, wow. uh, and here with FlexPod AI, all that we're doing is we are enabling our customers who are running FlexPod today to get into this AI space as well. So they don't need to look at a complete new solution so that they can do analytics and leverage and make more use of their data or get the best out of their data possible, okay. but they extend their existing FlexPod systems by making use of the best practices that we have as part of FlexPod AI and make themselves AI ready or AI capable. So what you see here is basically a Cisco UCS C480 ML server. This one is purpose built for AI workloads. Right, yeah. So it comes onboarded with NVIDIA GPUs, so it's right. a beast in itself. Yeah. And over here on the top, we have our NetApp All Flash A800 systems. So these are the top of the line storage systems that we have right now. So these are NVMe based. These wow. take the, the SSD or flash to a next level. Yeah. So when we're talking about traditional SSDs, latencies were in terms of milliseconds, but with NVMe storage, we are now talking about latencies in microseconds. So all these things are like a perfect fit for what AI workloads need. So we've got all the components, we've got the best in breed products, we know what it takes to build an AI workload or how to deploy an AI workload, and you have it here. We well, got the top of the line speeds as well, so I wonder, 
uh, as, as we talk about more specifically about what the heck you're doing in the NOC <laughs> and how it's being used to help uh, pull off this event. Can you give us a little background on the NOC and uh, FlexPod's role? Certainly. So, uh, so NetApp is not new to the NOC. So we've been supporting the NOC since, as far as I know, four years maybe. Uh, and, and we are supporting the NOC in Cisco Live US as well as in Cisco Live uh, Europe. And the, the, the most important thing that we uh, do in the NOC or the value add that we provide in the NOC is primarily uh, business continuity and disaster recovery. So what you see here is basically a NetApp system that is running as a HA pair or a clustered mode. Uh, but in the NOC, we are running it as a metro cluster, which provides business continuity and disaster recovery capabilities. Yeah. So we have two data centers over there in the NOC, and we have NetApp storage running on both data centers. Okay. And they're, they're basically acting as uh, an active-active disaster recovery and uh, business continuity, wow. uh, a, a DR site basically. So each one is acting as a DR site for the other one. So they're replicating data over to each other, and if at all we lose one of the data centers, we can switch over operations to the other data center in less than five seconds and wow. still keep the show running. Because yeah. as you know, Cisco Live is running out of the NOC and we want to yeah. make sure that the NOC is running successfully throughout the course of the we show. We can't just right? put off the show for a little while and uh, right. do it later perhaps. Uh, so any, any uh, background, any good stories? Uh, has everything gone well behind the scenes? Uh, so far good. Yeah. Uh, no, we there's just, always little things here and there. That's right, I mean, we've had you those. Yeah, it, it's been a bumpy ride a little bit. Yeah. But it's not really like that, that it's bad. A real network. And, and, and we're not surprised because things happen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have one-off things here and there, uh, like some of the virtual machines getting corrupted, but with NetApp, we've been able to back them up, uh, restore them pretty quickly, so we haven't been uh, in a situation where we brought down operations to, a, to a, like, you know, like an hour or so. We've been able to bring back applications back into operation pretty quickly, uh, because we have, we've been noticed. having yeah. a lot of resiliency in terms of backups and yeah. the capabilities that we have in terms of restoring things if something goes bad. Perfect, and uh, judging by your shirt, you're part of the NOC team? Of course, yes. Is that correct? Well, you guys, I'm always impressed with what you guys are able to pull off, so appreciate your help in that area. Uh, and everything you do here. Is there anything else that's important to understand about FlexPod that we want to make sure we leave with? Absolutely, so there's one last thing that I want to mention is about our hybrid cloud uh, uh, integration that NetApp has. So we've been uh, more of a, a storage uh, that is focused on on-premise enterprise requirements, but okay. over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of focus on how we want to help our customers build a true data fabric, which is hybrid in nature. So okay. NetApp has partnered with uh, some of the major public cloud service providers like AWS, GCP, Google Cloud Platform, and also Microsoft Azure. And we today provide capabilities uh, to our customers for them to move their data from their on-premise over to Amazon uh, AWS, okay. or to Google, or even to Microsoft Azure, and they can move data between these different uh, right. public cloud service Best providers as worlds. well. Yeah. So it's, you can move it on-prem to cloud and back from cloud to on-prem, a perfect use case for a workload like AI, where you, you want to consolidate data from you know, edge locations, core locations, right. and cloud. So you can bring your data from these different endpoints scattered across the world to a single AI analytical stack like FlexPod AI, right. and at the same time, you are also able to you know, deploy your workloads across multiple public cloud service providers and still have your same wow. data across these different public cloud service providers, yeah. which is a big challenge, and we yes, have tried to is. simplify it, and we have done it. Oh, that's excellent. So that's a good thing to come and check out. Arvind, thank you so much for your You're time. Welcome. Guys, if you have a chance, definitely come by the FlexPod booth. If you don't get a chance to talk to the smart one here, there's a lot of smart ones back in their booth. So we didn't get to do this in the knock, but you know it's there running for us, and your questions though, can definitely be answered over here, so come check out FlexPod. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.